What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here with Ari, Asterian, Will, and Shadowheart. We're inside the Druid's Chambers here, right next to Nettie. Last episode... I, uh, you know... <laughs> I didn't use my head once again with certain things. And I totally forgot to put on Speak With Animals. So we could have probably spoke to this bird, and then we also have that corpse in there that I'm gonna try to raise the dead, <laughs> the drow, and see if we can talk to him. But uh, we probably could have talked to the bird. I was wondering why the bird what wasn't saying happens? anything to us. No, don't go there. So every time we long rest, we have to reapply our buffs. I knew this, but I just totally forgot. Let's see if we can talk to the bird. Please. I'm resting. Something took a chunk out of you? What happened? Sorry, I mean... Well, yeah, something took a chunk out of you. What happened? The bird says nothing. Trying to rest. Prod the bird's wing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to serve you. The bird says nothing. Only the sound of its labored breath fills the silence. Well... We might have been able to get something the first time, but live, we learn. Can't go back on it now. But every, <laughs> every time we long rest, I need to put all my buffs up. Let's see if we can raise him and talk to him. Where's... Speak with the dead. Let's do it. Oh, I think we can! The corpse regards you lifelessly. Drow, your name and house now. <laughs> oh shit. What happened to you? Who killed you? How many drow are out there? Where did you get your tadpole? There's so many good questions. Let's let's do the drow stuff first. Your name and house now. Ned Siranis of the Absolute. Drow. There's no house of the absolute. Why would you serve? Drow are born to rule. Yeah, but the app are there? I mean, if anybody would know, it would be Ari. There is no house of the absolute. No houses. All equal in her love. I want to ask this because why would you serve Drow Born to Rule? I'm just curious. We will. Absolute will rule all. That's what the Absolute wants. Maybe the Absolute wants to tadpole everyone. Where did you get your tadpole? The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. Oh no! What happened to you? Were you abducted by mind flares? Where did you start following? Yeah, where did you start following? Moonrise Towers. Initiation. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Damn it. There was probably some more in there. Moonrise Towers? Son of a bitch. I feel like we asked them the most important ones out of there, but I mean, we could have asked them other stuff. I mean, I was kind of wanting to do all the drow stuff, well, because we're drow and he's drow. But I was also trying to hit the wares, the who, what, and wares, instead of just asking him the basic questions of, like, who he is. I kind of wanted to find out where, possibly try to find where the Absolute was. Once he started talking about the Absolute, that's what I really want to find. But, well, it just didn't happen that way. Let's head on out. Let's go to... I want to make my way over to the general area where Karlak is. Since we have Will in the party, we should head over towards where Karlak is. And see if we can start something. See what's going on with that situation. Yeah, we should probably read that. Let's see. The Blade of Frontiers. We recruited Will, a monster hunter known as the Blade of Frontiers. 
He is on a mission to kill Karlak, a powerful devil who is a danger to the entire Sword Coast. Well, I'm interested to see where this is going because we know Karlak from the introduction video, and it's possibly one of the people we could have been in the beginning. So it still makes me wonder if this game is so damn in-depth with it, which it is, depending on what character you actually choose, it might change people's story in the game itself. Does that make sense? So we're gonna have to figure out how to rob this guy. I wanna rob him blind of all his stuff. And we can probably do it with a Starian, but there has to be a way. It's like, if we can enter turn-based mode, right, which we will, we will buff a Starian as much as we can with, like, Guidance and possibly... I know Shadowheart has an enhanced ability, the Dexterity, remember we looked at it? I'm pretty sure, or I might have just read it off camera, I don't know. But she has the enhanced ability, we can buff his Dexterity. We go into this turn-based mode, you know, attempt to steal everything that we can in turn-based mode. And... Maybe we should take the party out first and just go in here with the Starion by itself. But we need an invisibility potion, though. I don't think this is possible without an in invisibility potion. Right? So we steal everything, we buff him up before he goes in here. So, yeah, we'll stay- we'll keep everybody back here, maybe have Shadowheart in here with him. I don't know. Anyways, we just need to take a shit, <laughs> go invisible, and then I think we're good. But the problem is, getting some kind of invisibility, unless we can just leave, somehow. I feel like that might be the best way to do it, because... Well... Unless we can just... Unless he doesn't get roused on us, maybe if we just stay behind him at a decent spot, because when we ever we pickpocketed anybody so far in this game, they just... It's like they didn't even know. But then again, the only person we really pickpocketed was Lazale. From Master and Monster Hunter. How would you approach killing a vampire? To start, lure it into the sun, drive a stake through its heart. Why? Just curious. Yeah, but <laughs> no one knows about a story, and I think we only know because we watched the videos. I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious, though. His teeth are vampire teeth. When you talk to him, he's got vampire teeth. Correct? But what I'm saying is, I don't know Do if we... Do you waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Starian? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. <laughs> Mr. You vampire. You to get back, then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. It sure the hell is. It. <laughs> Do you think she knows? I think she knows. Wait, we should go back to... Let's go back and check up here again. Once more. The area that we got the guidance necklace. Just to make sure we got everything. Anyways, what I'm saying... <laughs> somehow get an invisibility potion and then get out of there. But like I said, we haven't fully... Pickpocketed anyone, and when we did pick a pocket, it was Lazale, and then it was Withers, and they didn't like rouse up and say anything to us. They like they didn't even care. So maybe we don't even need to do that. But I still think we should leave the area after we pickpocket her. The fuck was that? My my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw, and that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. 
very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Oh, you're familiar with my work? But what work is that? Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Ooh, pleasure, I'm Aristar. Pretty words if you want to threaten me, don't disguise it. Walk away while you still have legs. Who are you? I don't feel like he... I feel like he's probably not here to talk to us like a friendly visit. It almost feels like the demon on our shoulder or something. It almost feels like it's something, <laughs> something with urge. Am I talking to a mouse or a cat? You're familiar with my work? I'm rather the admirer of the sanguine arts. Even if I wasn't quite born under a killing moon myself. Shall we withdraw? We have much to discuss. To our mutual satisfaction. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. What the fuck is going on? There. Middle of somewhere. Nice decor. Can you be more specific than somewhere? Take me back now, reach for your weapon. Can you be more specific than somewhere? Where the hell? <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Oh, shit. Ignore him and fill your plate. <laughs> hey, have a good one. I'm just going to go over here. Is this sausage? It kind of tastes like sausage. <laughs> Are these theatrics leading somewhere? I'm getting tired of your games. What makes you say that? Are these theatrics leading somewhere? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Oh no. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Draw your weapon. What made you think I need saving? Why would you help me? I don't care what you are. I care what you want. You know? I think it might be time to start being blunt with him. I mean, we have been kind of blunt. What makes you think I need saving? I don't care who you are. I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but... Let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Yeah, but if we do that, then we're going to be bound to you, aren't we? You make a deal with a demon, it's a written rule, and I don't care what the hell game, book, movie, whatever it is. It's just a written rule. You make a deal with the demon, you're fucked, right? You're always bound to him? Maybe, unless we kill him. We can banish him, possibly. I'll do anything to get rid of Tadpole. I need you to think this over. Well, maybe thinking it over might be good. I mean, if we just tell him you're mad, if you think I'll make a deal with the devil, you'll probably kill us. Then fix it or die by my hand. <laughs> Just kill him. You fix this tadpole or I'm gonna kill you. Do you think it over? 
I don't know. I don't think I want to make a deal with the demon. I don't think we should. We don't know who... I mean, well, we know kind of who he is. It's Raphael. He's invited us over to dinner. Obviously. Let's not make a deal. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Well, it <laughs> makes me feel like what we end up doing won't matter and we're going to have to go back to him anyway. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll have the last laugh in the end. <laughs> take me back. After that, I never want to see you again. I'll rip out your mocking tongue. Ugh. So, maybe we should keep the options open then. I don't want to. I don't want to make a deal with the demon. And if I want to take this deal, how would I find you? I am curious, though. I'll have the last laugh in the end. Take me back. After that, I never want to see you again. I don't know if I want to make a deal with him. But what if it is our last resort? But like I said, what if we're going to be bound to him forever? I'll have the last laugh in the end. Let's... <laughs> Should we jest him right here in his dinner hall? Sure. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. <laughs> what in the hells just happened? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I don't know, Wisdom. Use your shared connection to read her thoughts. Should we do that? Read her thoughts? He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. Like, I want to read people's thoughts. We had dialogue pretty much in, like, episode two with Gale. I think it was Wisdom. And we could have read his thoughts, but I chose not to do it because I feel like reading someone's thoughts is, like... All right, we're connected anyway. But I would feel kind of wrong just tapping into their mind and reading their thoughts. Help is help no matter source. Honestly, I'm not sure. I really kind of ain't sure about him because, let's be honest, he sounded like a nice guy for the most part, I guess. Most devils probably do. But I feel like we would be getting rid of something, which the tadpole, he probably could do it right there. Snap at a finger, boom. We probably already could have got our tadpole done. But I feel like the payoff would be, like, too great for him, but it won't be good for us in the end. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. I... I really want to read her thoughts, but I don't, because I'll, I'll feel a little dirty doing that. Honestly, Shadowheart, I'm not sure. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Actually, if Raphael can truly offer help, maybe we should consider it. I'm still unsure. He could be of help to us or not. Wisdom, use your share. Like, we can still read her thoughts. Does she want us to trust him? All right, perhaps we shouldn't trust him. He's a devil, I thought. I don't think we should trust him. <laughs> you can't just trust 
How you gonna trust the devil right then and there that just randomly showed up? Boom! Hello! Wanna go to dinner? Sausages on deck for you, pal. And that's it. I just... I don't think we should trust them. Good, you got there eventually. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Who the hells are these people you know who do such things? I am glad I made the right decision then. I didn't realize you were so well-versed in mental and emotional torment. I think I detected a note of admiration in your voice. Oh, really? It's so... Shadowheart. Who are these people you are referring to, though? This is... Like, I want to say this, but not, not fully. I detect a note of admiration in your voice. I, yeah, I kind of do. I respect his craft. As should you. Watch out for that devil. Let me talk Fine. about something else. What's on your mind? I think we're going to heed her words. I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. I'm going to heed her words. Watch out for that. I think we should. I don't think we should trust them like I wanted to. <laughs> curiosity. You know what the saying is, what curiosity is. Uh, it will. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero... A villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? We sure the fuck can, and maybe we should heed the words of the fairy tales too. Because there's always something that you're giving. You might not be reading the fine print at first, but I'm telling you, he might get rid of the tadpoles. 20 years from now, our soul is his. Something like that. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil? See, let's go back to Shadowheart for one minute. The, the wisdom reads your thoughts thing, it feels a bit wrong to want to do that but the game has it here and i kind of want to do it because i feel like we might actually miss something if we don't because okay she knows somebody that has this this like the dialogue was who who the bloody hells do you know that does you know basic stuff like that basically so shadow heart has kind of a dark past for sure that i hope we get to learn but i wonder if we dug into the wisdom part we would have kind of blunt force learned it what her, kind of what her secret is? You mean Raphael? We should at least consider his offer? I don't really want to consider his offer. It's intriguing, but I feel like there might be another way. There has to be another way. There's always another way. The right teacher? What are your thoughts about the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. It feels like it's going to be too great. He spoke of a cure. We have to at least hear him out. No cost is too great if it rids me of this infection. Don't worry, I have no interest in a devil's deal. I don't really want to deal with him, Will. I really don't. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. In his own sick, twisted way. Can we just admire something here? Let's just sit back and admire how cool this is. We literally went three steps outside the gate. We have, boom, something. And now we have all this interesting dialogue with our companions. And not only that... The reason I'm just stopping and reminiscing on this, their voice acting in this game is just some of the best I've ever heard in any video game period. And it's not just Will's are great, I mean we got Astarian's great, we got Shadowheart is great, all of them, every single one of them. I can just toot the horn of this game forever, and I'm sure all of you guys can as well. 
because it definitely deserves it. But it's just like the immersion. It, it kind of just like really, really pulls you in, you know. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. <laughs> and he might be right. We've had no luck so far. He's not. We still have options. We have to cross that bridge when we come to it. I mean, we do. We still have options, though. We still have these other healers that might be able to help us. Halzen's probably our best bet. If you want to sell your soul, be my guess. I mean, he's not. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone that liked to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. I wholeheartedly agree. So what do we do? I feel like we should ask him what we should do. I want to hear his thoughts on it. We keep hunting for answers. What other choice do we have? This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Maybe we have power. A story. Maybe we have power. Maybe it is an ordinary. Well, let's just say it's not an ordinary tadpole, but maybe we have some kind of power over it. We have mastery over it, which makes us a beautiful weapon, just like she was saying last episode at the camp. Oh, this shit's getting pretty interesting. Let's let's go around. Let's look around this area a bit more. I don't think I was fully thorough with it, but last. Where? Hmm. What's that? Where? Oh. Elixir of Hero. Hero. I guess we weren't fully. Ocean of Animal Speaking. Yes, please. Oh, right here. Rocky Crevice? At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Nature, survey the spiders. Let's survey. Oh no. Let's do Astarians. We're gonna have to get used to doing Astarians because we need to put something on her. A concentration spell. We haven't used one yet on her. We should use it after this. Not gonna work. <laughs> that didn't work. Do we use... Inspiration? I kind of don't really want to use inspiration. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? Animal handling? I don't want to use inspiration. I want to save it because we're kind of running out. Sleight of hand? We got two dexterity for that. Let's try to speak softly to the spiders and hope it calms them to get whatever this may be. Fifteen? Uh, sure. Four? No. <laughs> Damn it! I'm not doing inspiration. Agitated clacking chokes your thoughts. The spiders skitter about, more nervous than before. Damn it. Sleight of hand? Can we tag a starring in? Because we're not going to be able to do this. Dart your hand through? Should we just dart our hand through and see if, see if we can get it? <laughs> God darn it. <laughs> Whatever is here is lost forever. <laughs> Pincers pierce your flesh. Their chitters become giggles. The intruder is punished. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Let me try a starion. At the back of the crevice lies a bag. Enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders, a shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. You got this, sir. Animal handling. Can he even speak to him? Rogue, sleight of hand. Look at all of this stuff that he's got. Dart your hand in, hoping to snatch the bag. Let's try it. Let's do his own guidance. 15. We got this. Easy peasy. Four. Fuck 
walking barely. <laughs> the spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Receive the pouch. <laughs> what did you get, my friend? Pouch? Nothing. Oh, this right here. We got some gold. And spider egg sack. Let's send that to Ari. Maybe with spider egg sack? Maybe something important. Can we do anything else? A cluster of spiders scuttle inside the crevice. Reach in to crush the spiders. Let's let them be. Let's Let's let them go. live that life. Let me see if we can do it with a story. A cluster of or. spiders scuttle inside the crevice. <laughs> Breathe deep Arisar. and move. I keep wanting to say their names. <laughs> like Every time I'm on Aristar, I want to say... When I'm talking about Aristar, Asterian, it's just the A's, okay? Let's head down because there was a bridge. I want. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Me too. Take care. I want to at least go and check. Wait, is that a cart over there? Where's that cart coming from? To be honest, we need to go back to camp. I think we should go back to camp. Not long rest, just go into camp and see if we can talk to the others. Just to see if the others say anything about the devil that we've seen. I mean, it's worth a shot. Because I feel like if we long rest at the moment, it'll be... I feel like it's too soon because we literally just long rested last episode. But I want to keep continuing to long rest because I don't want to miss any, you know, bits of the stories. This is where that one cave was. The very first one we went, when we went to the back door of the fucking... The grove. That's where we got into the back door of the grove. What the hell is this? Strange. It looks healthy. But it's stone dead. Can we speak to the dead of an animal? Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. Wait, what? Bloodless pig meat? A few coarse hairs still stick out of its skin. On the nave. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Why are you getting so uptight about the pig, Astarian? Medicine, examine the boar's corpse. Let's examine this. Ten. Got it. Easy peasy. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And Inside his body? Is it dead enough for you? <laughs> we inside of his body. Barbarian intimidate. You know something. Speak. Barbarian intimidation. You know something. Speak. Persuasion. These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? Should we just pers I don't want to intimidate him. Let's persuade him. Oh, hell. <laughs> that works. The rolls? The rolls are such, like, every time we roll... I feel like I'm clinching. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> because it's like it can go any ways, you know? And it's always so damn nerve wracking. Like, you want to. Every time I'm rolling, I want to be on the edge. Like, I'm on the edge of my seat. I, I'm nervous. It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, please, let's go. You can see his little vampy teeth. Do they not know that he's a vampire? I mean, you could just tell, looking at him, that he's a vamp. What the hell? <laughs> I'll keep watch tonight, he says, friends. Was that why you were stalking around camp, Astarium? It makes sense. Speaking of camp, let's go out to camp. Let's just return to camp and see if we can talk to people. Because that waterfall is there, and I really, 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 really want to go to that waterfall. 
Let's do Lazale first. This devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head. What is Kithrak? Kithrak, what does that mean? Oh, we can ask her. You think her eyes are like dragon? They kind of look like dragon eyes, They don't they? I found Raphael rather impressive, even if you didn't. Let's ask her what Kithrak is. Kithyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor. And I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Yeah, but it's crazy that you're not already that because you're kind of a... I mean, you're pretty beast, Lazale. She wants to be a dragon rider, basically, for her people. Why were these knights chasing the Mind Flayer ship? Yeah, why were they? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackheath's sight pierces the many planes. Really? How and why? Speak. Anything for you. I can't wait to speak. Alright, take care. <laughs> nice talking to you, Lazale. Oh, the get the Yankee are so interesting. <laughs> I really find them interesting. Gale? Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fighted to dine with a devil. <laughs> Kinda. Oh, damn it, we failed. I mean, it makes sense. I don't even know how we would be able to pass any of that stuff. You have a strange definition of flattery. Dining with the devil left a bad taste in my mouth. You're familiar with devilry then? I'm curious, are you familiar? Um. I've never met a devil, but of course I've read a great deal about them. Even feigning a mortal form, it was easy to detect the whiff of sulfur about him. Mm. To spot the flicker of hellfire in his eyes. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us. Badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. I think he wants our soul, if not more. All I'm hearing is conjecture. But what is it that this devil wants so very badly? Gale, I feel like you might know that. I'll remind you that when dealing with a devil, you always draw the short straw. I mean, you do. What do you think this devil wants so badly? Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality, all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. What do you think of Raphael's ambition could be? And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? Ooh! How do you propose how we beat him at his own game? By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. True. What, what if he wants the absolution? Whatever the absolution is. That makes sense because every single person that we dealt with with a tadpole was talking about the absolution. Okay, and it makes me believe that the absolution is what is implanting these people 
Which it is. I believe Shadowheart Dunn said it was because they told her on the ship that she would become a beautiful weapon. Might not have been the Absolution, but the Absolution has to be a Mind Flare. Maybe. Or somebody that, that's in control of the Mind Flares. The boss. But maybe that's what the demon wants. Seriously. It might be. Fate. Dost thou require a new ally? Take it easy, Withers. I was just seeing if you had any dialogue, but I guess you don't. Mugwort? You just grow stuff here, Shadowheart? Thank you. Anything else? Almost pleasant traveling with company. No. All right, let's leave camp now. So, Will with a Y. Why? Will with a Y. <laughs> why? That's right. But why? Why, why? A great uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. Will with the Y is unique. I like it. All right, so here's a bridge. We have a bridge here. When we talk to that one goblin, it said something about a waterfall, traveler's chest, and a bridge. Holy shit. There's all types of corpses here. We're not going to go over there yet and see what that is. Because I want to check this waterfall. And obviously all these chests, of course. But there is a shit ton of corpses there. Alright, because there's a waterfall here. Bridge, waterfall, and she said something about... I don't remember the name... Because I, well, that's, that's not, I don't remember the name, but she said something about the name, but that name was also her boss. Oh, shit. We're entangled? <laughs> don't worry about that. Tis a scratch. I'm just trying to pick up some herbs. All right, let's watch out for them. You think Ed's still here? Are you sure the fuck is? <laughs> Pick up loot. We already looted him. What are we gonna do with Ed? We just put him in our back pocket. What the fuck? <laughs> we got Edwin in our back pocket. <laughs> How <laughs> and why? <laughs> Should we just lug him around? <laughs> I thought it was going to, like, pick up his body and put it somewhere. I didn't realize we were going to be putting him in his back pocket. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, Ed. Come on, let's go around. Let's have a good old time. <laughs> this game is fucking crazy. <laughs> Leather boots. Hey, that probably would go with the other armor. I'd imagine. Friends, if we're just lugging around a dwarf, I... I think we're going to get over encumbered soon. <laughs> can we s <laughs> can we send them to the camp chest? Loot drop. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why we would pick up a corpse. What we could possibly do with this corpse? A shadow heart. Oh, we can't give it the shadow heart. We're going to drop Ed in the fucking <laughs> in the river here. <laughs> Let's go pal around with Ed. Let's explore. Maybe we can find a good place for Ed. Let's go drop him in the grove. In the druid's grove. Wait. There's a cave here. Let's explore it. Owlbear tracks. Owlbear. This nest must be nearby. Oh. That's what Ed and them were going to kill, was that Albert. Let's go inside. Owlbear nest? Out of Maybe we should sneak. Pickaxe? Oh, we got a pickaxe finally! A viscerated goblin. Let's pickaxe it. Bones. Oh, you guys gonna sneak? Yeah, sneak. Eviscerated goblin. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Heavy stone. 
25 gold. Can we bring this goblin back? The corpse has nothing to say. Oh, but I want to talk to this corpse. Maybe let's look around. Ah, the statue. Looks like a chest down there. There is camera distance. Can't move any further. I right, get it. There's an arm. Is that an arm or a leg? It looks like an egg. Let's go over. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Let's go over here. Let's be on my way. Let's be on our way. And see what the hell's down here. Gilded chest. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on. That chest looks like it's sparkling. Now. One. A saloon, a statue. It saloon. is a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. To be fair, this cave is actually kind of nice. Shit. What are we doing here? Oh, we're about to steal from Astarian. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. I didn't mean to. There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. We should examine this then. Look at this chest. Looks like the Holy Grail. But a chest version. Made of precious stone and covered in gold. This chest is both sturdy and pleasing to the eye. Will encumber Aristar. Okay, so we, we can't pick this son of a bitch up. I mean, we got Ed in our pocket. <laughs> Just chilling. Resistances? Bludgeoning? It's piercing resistance, bludgeoning resistance... Necrotic resistance, psychic immunity, poison immunity, radiant resistance. So it's resistant to everything, basically. Scroll detect thoughts. Animal speaking? Should we touch this chest? Ah, this thing won't yield its contents easily. Let's not touch that again. We got lucky, and it's saved. Because that might have just jacked us up. So this chest won't be opened. What the fuck? Come on. I need you guys over here. Can't pick this stuff up. I'm going to start pickpocketing you guys. Incense? Candle? The war between Saloon and Shar. A dusty volume that speaks of... A conflict between the sibling goddess Saloon and Shar. After Saloon ignited the sun and brought life to sustaining light and warmth to the universe. So Saloon is the goddess of good and Shar is the goddess of bad? They're sisters? Let's take that book. Wait. Pick up. It looks like we might be able to go over here though. What are these plants? Let's go over here. Something over there. Oh, there's another book there. The Genesis of Saloon and Shar, but there's also a Salunite prayer sheet? An ancient tome detailing how Saloon came into being alone with her sister Shar. The Silver Radiant Saloon and the Dark Aloran Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Yeah, Shar was the bad goddess, or if you want to say that. And Saloon was a good goddess, if you want to say that. But, you, you know, it's really hard to believe anything until you really know the truth. Let's pick it up. Shall we read this? A prayer dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share in her bounty? A prayer sheet with the same symbol as the one on the chest. Okay, so maybe there's something at play here. If this prayer is the same as the chest, maybe we can somehow use this prayer sheet for the chest? We're gonna insert it into the chest and maybe it opens? It's a prayer sheet. 
So this thing isn't going to open if we touch it. Lock picking. Well, we can't even lock pick. Let's not do that. But what if we throw Ed at it? No, but what if we... Can you recite the prayer to it? Did we even pick up that prayer? No, we didn't pick up the prayer. Can't afford to stay idle. Let's get Shadow Horde to pick it up. And then send it to us. To be honest, let's get up. Everyone get up. Is that blood? <laughs> no, no. Let's mind. all get up and go over here together. I don't think there's any point in sneaking around because whatever was in here, if it's gonna kill us, I think it would already there not kill us, right? Let's send this prayer to Ari and see what happens if we look at Astarian, he's still sneaking, no, he don't wanna not here. sneak. Yeah, but I don't... There's gotta be a way to, like, recite it, maybe, possibly, huh? Bro. Read. A prayer dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share in her bounty. I mean, it feels like that is... might be the only way, but... Shadow Heart. Oh, we did it! You... You just really incited the prayer then without saying the prayer. Okay, well that worked. What did Shadowheart just get? Hold on, let me go. How did I do that? How did I do that? There we go. Oh. So P, Will, or not Will, Shadowheart, what did you just get? Unlock and read the Book of the Dead Gods. Recover Saloon's lost treasure through prayer. Shall we just open this sucker up? You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. What, why? Yeah, wait, why? Don't be ridiculous, there could be something useful. Yeah, we can definitely use whatever's in there, if you insist. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. She doesn't like Saloon at all. She's... When we were in the Druid's Grove, she brought up something about Char and Saloon. Remember there was like a mural or something, like a picture? Some kind of art on it? So she's probably a follower of the Char and not Saloon. I mean, Saloon and Char are kind of rival. Rival sisters, right? Insight? Why do you care so much? Good. Can't just abandon. I mean, we can't just abandon it, but I kind of want to know why. Insight? We don't have nothing on that. Well, hell, the only one that's good is the Barbarian. We can intimidate her, but it, let's see why she cares. 15? Yeah, sure. We got this. <laughs> we sure the fuck do. <laughs> that works. Should have stayed quiet. Out of darkness? You want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, mistress of the night, Saluna's twin and foe. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. I mean, if you want to worship this Shah, then go right ahead. I don't feel like it should matter who any of us worship. If that's what you want to do, then so be it. You could have told me how long were you going to keep this secret. I don't think it matters though, Ari. I didn't agree to join up with a Shar worshipper. We don't know much on Shar. <laughs> so how are we just going to cast her out? I don't care who you worship. We have bigger problems. I'll decide whether to make a fuss or not. Hard to trust someone who's holding. No, I I kind of just don't care who, sh who, who they worship. They've all been friends to us so far. And they've all been valuable to the crew so far. And we're all in this predicament together so far. So let's trust her. We have bigger problems. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. I mean, you could have. Now the truth's out, tell me more. In the future, I expect you to be honest. Let's leave it at that for now. Thank you for telling me at least. I can't trust you. Now that the truth's out, maybe, yeah, tell us more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. Oh, come on, I want to talk more about this. This is interesting. Hold on here. Can I talk to you again? 
Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? You were lost in the sauce there, Shadowheart. She was just <laughs> looking up to the sky, basically. <laughs> okay. Ladies of the... Sh I mean, A. Hey. I'm kind of curious on who and what she may be. Why were you in pain before? I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. Ooh, can we? Let's ask her... I don't want to ask her all of this right now. Let's spread stuff out, right? Should we? Or does it matter? I do want to know more about Char. I really fucking do. Okay, now this is a question. If I pick maybe one of these, okay, and then choose to, like, leave the conversation after that, I wonder if they're going to be here still, this stuff. I'm pretty sure they will. And I'd eventually think over time they might go away. But I just want to ask... Let's ask one thing. I mean, we came in this Albert cave. <laughs> and it's somewhere around here. <laughs> Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Yeah, but... Why and how? So you knew more than what you were letting on before? I hope you'll be more honest in the future. Why would Shore subject you to such a thing? Yeah, but, yeah, right here. What causes it... What causes it to hurt? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Yeah, but this mark she has on her hand is from Shah. Something of the such. But what does it have to do with that damn idol that you have? Or cube, whatever it is, artifact. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? Yeah. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Yeah, but it's all pure speculation at this point. But the idol, cube, whatever, let's just call it artifact, that she has, is got to be something important to the Shah. Has to be. Because Shadowheart has this mark. She has this idol that she refuses to talk about. It's gotta be something, like, something incredibly powerful that we just don't know. Maybe that, honestly, could be the weapon. Just like she said, she can be the beautiful I know I said that beautiful weapon a couple times already in this episode, but still, that could be very well what it is. How do you manage to live with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. So, when we were talking to that drow, or not the drow, when we were talking to the devil and then talked to her, there was more options about... Ari could say something like, who the hell have you been dealing with or something like that that does stuff like this? So, is it the Char stuff then? Has to be. So you knew more than you were letting on before. I hope you're more honest in the future. Should we say this? I kind of want to, though. I'll yeah. try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. I understand. Turn to other matters. I want to talk about your shard. I really want to know about this. We'll say this one and then we'll cut it off here because this might be like romance stuff. I'm still uncertain on what the hell I want to do. I kind of want to know all the companions before I start clicking on romancing. And who knows, Baldur's Gate might have us be able to romance everyone. <laughs> There's love to go around. I want to talk about Shar. Yeah, let's talk about Shar. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Oh, we can persuade her. I have no problems with Shar worshippers if that's what concerns you. You should trust me. We're in the same boat after all. 
I think... Oh, we gotta roll. Damn it. Okay. You should trust me. We're on the same boat after all. Ten. Oh. Come on. Seventeen! Let's fucking go. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Ooh. Mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her? Just from what you're telling me and what we learned, kind of, in the game so far. We gotta have books, we gotta pick up books, and we gotta learn. We gotta read more. Remind me. Honestly, your faith is your own concern. I won't judge one way or another. She doesn't sound very appealing, going by her titles. <laughs> Zing! I heard Shar Worshippers is viled by many, forbidden outright in parts. How about you remind me? My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Sounds like a miserable realm of influence for a deity to hold. How about... Yeah, continue. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. Okay. Sounds daunting. I don't think it's for me. <laughs> She's just, the way she's shaking her head, it's, it's like in a matter of fact. She's feeling the matter of fact moment right now. When you put it like that, it does seem strangely com comforting. Yeah, I mean, sure. Everyone wants to stand naked in front of a goddess. It's eerily comforting. There's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. So is she and the people of Shah worshippers kind of like converting people? Kind of like, she, I mean, she's saying heretics, but... Would Shah worshippers probably think that anyone that maybe is a worshipper of Saloon or... Whatever else deities are out there are all heretics, and they cast them all down or try to convert them to Shar. I'd be lying if it didn't sound convincing. You should tell me more sometime. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. I don't know if I want to join any type of <laughs> religion like this, or just any in general. But I will say I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. It's just... Every religious group has something that they believe, of course. And then there's other ones that believe in something else, so they're always going to, like... But heads, I'd imagine. So, let's not cast judgment. Sounds evil. It just, it doesn't sound any evil than any other religious group because I feel like they're kind of like all the same in their own way. Kinda. But, I, I, I'm no judgment. No judgment zone here. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most Damn, agreeable boy. company. You sure the hell did. We're open-minded about things. I want to get to know you more. Let's wait. I don't want to get to know her more just yet. Because we're going to be throwing down in this cave here, maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that early, right? It can't be that early for relationship-wise. But hey, if she wanted to throw down in this cave, I'm down for it. <laughs> we got Ed in our back pocket and everything. We're good to go. Let's sneak. We came in here... Listen, we came in here for an owlbear, and we are literally knowing... Oh, shit. There's the owlbear right there! Look. Let's examine this sucker. We're gonna fight this thing. Dark vision, multi-attack, and rage, opportunity attack. This thing has 107 health. Wait, there's an owlbear cub. It's babies here, and then... Oh, there's an egg back here. It's a mom. Can we talk to it? Hold on. 
Is there a way to talk to this thing? I'm scared, like scared to stand up. I kind of want to see if we can talk to it. Another step forward. You feel oh, I guess the we quake can. of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. You're injured? There's still half a spear lodged in your head? Sorry, wrong cave. I'll be going. Sorry, I just came in here in the wrong cave. I need to go. Tie my shoes or something. Move closer. You had your last meal, beast. You and your cub. Oh, I don't want to kill the cub. Now I kind of don't want to fight this beast in front of the cub. Because we're going to kill her if we fight her. Hey, she ain't going to beat us. <laughs> But I don't want to kill it in front of the cub. And then she's got an egg back there. Let's see if we can help her. There's still half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. Well, I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. I mean, we are embarking on her territory here, in a sense. Persuade. Just allow me to leave. I'm no threat to you or your cub. Intimidation. Come then. Once I've plucked you, I'll have your cub for dessert. Oh, the barbarian is so savage. <laughs> it's such a beast, man. <laughs> I don't want to kill her, though it would be such a glorious fight, probably. And we'd probably get some really cool items if we killed her. But in front of the cub. And we'll have to kill the cub, too. And then... Oh, well, there's the egg back there. Let's see if we can roll out. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Ten. Please. Well... See ya. <laughs> that works. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Yes, ma'am. One wrong step? Like, what if we come up there and take this pork loin? Steal the Albert egg? I don't want to take her egg. Do we really want to take her egg? I don't want to do it. We just let him let him go. Okay, let's go. I guess go back this way. That was the whole cave. Go over there. She said one wrong step. Oh man, I kind of want to go in there and loot about, but I'm. I don't think we should. Let's roll. Let's go out the cave. We're pretty close to where Carlac's situation is. And I think next episode, we're going to kind of just go right off to it. This has been such an interesting... Just things that are happening here. We know Shadowheart's story kind of now. We have this Raphael guy that just came out of nowhere. And now we have the owlbear. We kind of just let... I mean, you got to think about it, though. This is where the treasure was. This is the treasure. The owlbear. Probably killing the owlbear is a treasure. I'd imagine we could probably go back in and kill it if we choose to. But in front of the cub... Maybe if the cub wasn't there, I don't know. I got a soft I got a soft heart. Even though we're playing Dark Urge. I'm soft. Big softy, man. But that owlbear probably gives us a really unique... Wait. A unique weapon. Frag the rock. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save... Oh, that might be... Because that's going up. Okay, that might be actually where we got to go. For Carl, like, I was thinking over this bridge and around. But there is... Let's just go up this. And see if it's like a path. What is that? Right. Don't touch this shit. Honeycomb. Hey, Will. Need something. Or oh, a starian. I know I was clicking on one of you guys. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Oh! Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. I hear you. Maybe we should go back to camp. Well, the people. Because Astorian just had that. That's interesting. 
Yeah, maybe we should... The beginning... Well, we'll explore around. Let's explore around a bit. Before we... Hold on, I want to pick all that stuff up. I got a loot problem. Rogue's Morsel. Okay, next episode when we get back, we will definitely be going right into Hunt Down Carlac. What? Let me see something. Daughter of Darkness. We spoke to Shadowheart about the pain that her mysterious wound inflicted on her. She believes it may be part of her training. Punishing her whenever she strays from Shar's teachings. So Shar's got that vice grip on her. Really, though? Although Shadowheart tried to hide it, we discovered that she worships the goddess Shar. We need to ensure she doesn't keep anything else from us. We spoke to Shadowheart about her pain that her mysterious wound inflicted on her. She pleaded ignorance, though she may be withholding something. Well, that's already... We already know what that is. Okay. Let's read a book. Let's read one book before we go. Curse of the Vampire? Well, maybe. Book of the Dead Gods. Let's read this Book of the Dead Gods. The name of dead gods, most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable. Fill the pages of this ancient tome. Several entries on the last page have been stricken, though. The final three thoroughly enough to be completely illegible. Okay, well, that book's done. That was a really big book. <laughs> the Book of the Dead Gods. So, which one of these are books? Maybe 12? Yeah. These are all the books that we've already read. Twelve books. In a sense. Well, notes are in there, too. Death and Divinity, a Godly Guide. Death is too powerful for us for even a single god to contain. It is the duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces. Disease, war, funeral rites. There must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. For countless eons, it was Jurgle. The Lord of End of Everything presided over mortality with his unblinking stare until even he grew weary. Young Ball, Bane, and Miracle must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the God of Death. Yet he used their ambition to free himself. Merkel claimed privacy over death from Jurgle's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the violent of death seized by Ball in his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble... Kelimvor, to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire. Even gods can die, after all, and those who worship death should remember that above all else. Oh, so that's about the gods, but hold on here. So this is about Jurgle. Jurgle's Jurgle is a god, the lord of the end of everything. And then we have Paul, Bane, and Merkel, all gods, demons, one of them. Okay, let's put that up in our. We got six of these bad boys. Do we just sell? I mean, maybe we should just sell off these books. I think it might be time. But, anyways, my friend, I'm saving here, and when we get back, we're going to explore this area. I might go back to camp in the beginning just to see if anyone else has anything because Astarian just had something. And. Maybe think about changing crew. I feel like we're progressing Shadowheart here pretty heavy because she has been in our party since the beginning, basically. She's pretty much been here since the beginning, and well, we've gotten a lot of approval with her, so I think we should start putting some more people in. We'll think about it next episode, but we'll for certain be heading over to. The Blade of Frontiers and hunt down Karlak. But take it easy, have a good one, stay safe. See you next time. Take care.